Hey everybody, it's Lisa, and this is Lisa Gets Real Project Runway Season 16 Episode 3 Challenge. Super duper exciting. Um, I just love the show. I love doing the challenges. This one is a little bit different. Um, I'm a little bit bummed because in this challenge they got a sneak peek of the new animated movie um, Leap, which is now in theaters, and I wasn't able to go and see the movie. It's out, but I wasn't able to go and see it. Um, so that, that kind of bums me out a little bit because they used that movie as their inspiration. They had to... Sorry. <clears throat> they had to um, create a look that was inspired by dance, that had movability, and that was innovative. So... They had one day or ten hours or so to do the challenge and um, 30 minutes to sketch, of course, and $200 to spend at Mood. I, of course, do not have the $200 to spend at my fabric store uh, for these fabrics, so these are all designs on a stricter budget. Um, I was very fortunate because I got, um, I ended up having to wait a little while longer than normal to do this, this video, to do this challenge um, because of things going on in my life. I wasn't able to do them right away. So um, I'm doing them. I'm doing it now. Um, but because I had to wait, I was actually fortunate and I got a 60% off coupon um, for my fabric store. So this fabric that I got that was normally $16.99 a yard. I got three yards. I ended up getting that um, several other items for $34. Um, speaking of the several other items, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of something that I'm going to use for my finale. Um, the finale of Project Runway, you have to create a um, runway show or 9 to 10 looks, uh, depending on what they, they tell you. And in one of my looks, I'm going to be using a lot of beading. And they had 70% off of all of their strung beads. So I got a lot of these beads. Um, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek of these ones. So these beads here will be in my finale. They are super sparkly. You can't really tell. Um, they're a little bit iridescent. The purplish blue ones are anyway. Um, so those will be in the finale. So stay tuned. To see what I do with those. This one, <clears throat> I got this ribbon right here, which is going to help with the innovation portion of my garment that I'm going to make, my dress. Um, you have to wait to see what it is. But I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be really awesome. Um, I haven't done it before, so I'm not sure if it's going to work out or not. I'm actually going to take this off my head. I just got out of the shower. Oh. Let me fix myself a little. Okay. All right. So, fabric I got was, or is, a spandex material because if you've ever danced, um, you know that spandex works really well on the body, it hugs the body, it moves with the body. Um, and it also, if draped properly, can have a lot of flow and movement to it. So that's what I plan on doing. So it's kind of hard to see. It is nighttime right now. Uh, it is 9.10 p.m. And so I don't have the daylight coming in my window, so it is a little bit more tricky to see. But I'm going to hold it up and hopefully you can see. It is a uh, black background, and then it's got multiple colors in it. It looks kind of like an oil slick. So you'll be able to see it a lot better in the sunlight when it's done. Um, hopefully the sun will be shining uh, tomorrow so I can take good video of it outside. Um, it's been raining a lot here, just like most places right now. Uh, so... Um, I'm excited about it. I, I really hope that it's going to turn out the way that I want it to. Um, it is, full disclosure, it is Tuesday. Uh, 
I don't have normal cable television, so I don't get to see Project Runway when it airs on Thursdays. I literally have to wait until either Friday or Saturday. This week I had some things going on, or last week I had some things going on, so I did not get to see it until Saturday night. That was interrupted, so I only got to see a portion of it, so I, I really did not see the full episode until Sunday night, I think it was. Yeah, Sunday night. So, yesterday was a holiday. Um, I ended up working yesterday, and then now it's Tuesday. So, I know that it is late. I know that um, season or episode four is due to air in two days. So, I apologize for it, but hey, life happens. Nothing you can do. So, I am. That is not a beer. That is a soda. I need that for the caffeine <clears throat> and the sugar because it's late, I'm tired, but my husband is in our bedroom gearing up to play his game that is releasing at midnight. So I'm giving him his, his space in there so that he can get um, prepared for it because he really enjoys it. And I really don't want to be in there. I don't need to be hearing it or anything like that. So, um, in his defense, he did offer to move the game, gaming system out of the bedroom. But there's really no need. There's really no need for it. I have things that I can be doing. So, this gives me a perfect opportunity to do this video right now. So, I got three yards of this fabric. And I just love it. And I hope, I hope, hope, hope that I have some left over so that I can use it for something else that I will actually wear. Um, maybe like a bomber jacket or something like that. I think this would look really awesome in a bomber jacket. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how much I have left. I'm not sure. I might not even have enough and in, in that case we'll just have to readjust what I plan on doing for the challenge. So I am going, oh man. I haven't been in here since I recorded for the last challenge. I still have newspaper all over. I am really slacking. So, let's move all the newspaper. My glue gun. Do that. Oh my gosh, I have glue all over my table. Newspaper. Okay. Okay, so that is moved out of the way. I'm going to lay the fabric out on my table and then bring the camera over, and hopefully, you'll be able to see it a little bit better under the light. Oh yeah, there's some color. You can see that. So it's really, really cool. I think it's going to be beautiful once it's cut and sewn and draped how I, I plan on doing it. Um, so, really excited about it. I do not have... Well, I suppose... Nope. I do not have the bottom part of my tripod that connects to my camera so I'm gonna have to record this differently today maybe like that you can see the dress form there so okay
I'm so thirsty. So thirsty. Okay. Oh. This is the hardest part. It's just deciding and committing to what you want to do. And my tape measure is my tape measure is not in here. So I'll be right back. I have to go grab that. see how long how wide this fabric is a lot of the fabric will have the edges on it I don't know if you can tell the difference it's a flat edge right here so it doesn't have the actual design on it and I want to know how much fabric I have from the start of the design to the other end of the design on the width Okay, so that's about 59, about 59 and a half inches, which is great because it's actually more than what they tell you. They tell you um, when you look at the, the bolt that it is um, 57 inches, so I love that they give you a little bit extra. Okay. You still see that? Yeah. Okay. So... One thing that I want to do is I want to see that glue all over my dress form. See how far down I want my dress to fall on me. It's not going to be full length at all. So I'm going to go from the top of my shoulder down to where I want it, which is right about the edge of my fingertips. And that is 33 inches exactly. So we we'll go measure right here and 33 inches. I'm gonna move my hem arm up. Should be about 33 inches. right on the money okay perfect okay so now I know in a lot of in my other videos you haven't seen me do um, measuring I don't think at all yet so the only reason why I'm measuring on this is because it is um, a spandex material and I do I am it's it is going to be very form-fitting it's very going to be very um, tight to the body like um, a dancer's leotard would be so we have to make sure that we have the measurements correct and this measurement here is my these are my measurements so you I don't know if you necessarily need to see those or not but I need to make sure that it's going to be big enough to go around the biggest part of my body So. so in order to get the most out of the fabric, I'm going to actually end up cutting it against the grain, which means the opposite way that the 
thread is facing. So I need to cut down 33 inches. with a little bit left over for the seam allowance. And that is, oh, you know what? I need to turn this over. What am I doing? That way I can mark it up and cut on the non-patterned side. There we go. right there so I'm going to take my blue chalk and mark it up and I'm just going to do the same thing all the way down make sure that it's 33 inches across evenly And cut the fabric. that I just cut, take the rest of it, and toss it aside for right now. So, this is our dress. The actual dress portion of it.
Should give good shape up front, and it does. Okay, and then this is going to be where we need to cut it off at, right? Where's the bar? Here. Put this, all this excess off here. I gotta have a hem allowance or seam allowance, so I have to lower it just a little.
I have this extra piece of fabric here that I cut off the bottom of it just now. So I can use that for something else. Maybe a little handbag or something. Okay, so now everything is cut even on the bottom. And I don't know if you can see it, so let me just grab this real quick. Okay. So I used the hem bar here to go through and make sure that it was cut evenly all the way around um, so that when I went to go hem it it would be easier so this is now at about I'd say 33 inches long I'm sorry 35 inches long we wanted it at 33 so I have enough to do a half inch um, double roll for the hem on the bottom which will bring it up an inch on the bottom and then down an inch on the top and then now what we have to do is we have to cut this right here this excess fabric in the back and then stitch that together and then we will have our little dress prior to hemming the bottom and the top I want to make sure that I have a little bit excess um, just in case I make a mistake um, or in case I need to add to the hem because once I put it on my own body it doesn't fit. So here's what I'm going to do here. Bunching up my fabrics, on my fabric. So we want to kind of just follow down with the same amount of tautness. so that we can cut off the excess fabric. I'm actually going to pin it all the way down. Now 
doesn't have all of that, that excess fabric, just, to, just a little bit um, so that we can take in the, so we can hem it and then adjust it as needed. Um, actually, I'm going to take off a little bit more fabric right now, um, right here in the middle of this back part. It just seems like it's really loose. And I don't want to have to worry about taking that much of it in after I've already sewed it. After I've already sewn it, I should say. So, go ahead and do that in the middle. There we go. And those little pieces you wouldn't use for anything, so. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to take it off of my dress form and I'm going to stitch up this back seam here. And I'm also going to hem the top and the bottom while I have it off of the form. And then we will move on to the next part. do is I'm going to go through and pin it all the way down so that it makes for easier sewing. Now my hips, my stomach, my, my booty is a little bit bigger than my upper half so um, the bottom half of this dress is wider than the upper half is. So if you're doing it on yours and you notice that one end is wider, or one side is wider than the other side, that's probably why. It's no big deal. As women, our bodies are all shaped differently, which is one of the reasons why I really love this season of Project Runway, because they say um, one size does not fit all, and that is so very true. There are so many women out there who are absolutely gorgeous and they're all different shapes and sizes and colors and just because something looks good on one person does not mean it's going to look good on the next person. Um, just because it looks like somebody has certain proportions doesn't mean that they necessarily do. So that's one of the reasons why I like making my own clothes because I can tailor them to myself. Um, shopping has always been a very challenging thing for me. It makes me very depressed because um, I'll see something that I absolutely love and then I'll put it on me and it just it doesn't it doesn't look like it should be worn by me. So I make my own. And I encourage everybody else to do it also. I mean you can the sky is pretty much the limit on what you can do so can make anything and everything that you want and it's fun okay so I have it pinned I'm going to 
turn on my machine. It is a spandex material, like I said, so we do want to use a um, either a stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch so that um, it continues to allow the fabric to have that stretch. If you use a straight stitch, it's going to stay in place. It is not going to stretch where it needs to. So I'm going to... There. We're going to use a 5 8 um, inch seam allowance and I'm not going to talk while I stitch. I've made that mistake before and it's very difficult for you guys to hear me. Not that I have a lot to say right now anyway. So, okay. Just same with anything, you're going to want to do that back stitch so that you can lock it in place and then stitch it down. Make sure your fabric is smooth all the way down. wish you guys could see the colors that are coming through right now because of the light on my sewing machine. Um, colors that are peeking through from the edges. It's just, it's so pretty and I'm so excited for the sun to be able to hit it and see what exactly, see what exactly it's going to look like. I think it's going to be beautiful. done now I am going to pick up the pace of the stitching a little bit so that we get done a little bit quicker <laughs> Essentially, we have a tube dress. It's just a tube. Bigger at one end for the badunk a dunk than at the other end. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and the top portion is already a smooth cut edge. Um, because of how we cut it when we did cut it. The bottom is not a very smooth cut edge as you can see so I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit before I try to hem it up. Just a little bit. There's some pieces that are sticking way out and I wanna go ahead and get those taken care of before I start rolling it for the hem. Because 
that will make the hem uneven. We don't want an uneven hem. pieces that is taken care of and then I'm just going to take it and roll it about a half an inch and then about another half of an inch and pin it down and then you'll sew that together or sew that down and that is your hem. No, granted everybody, I could make these dresses and outfits a lot better, um, but they do it in 10 hours at least. Um, I'm trying to do mine in at least in between one to two hours. So I'm trying to get as much done in as little time as possible. Um, just to show you that it can be done it doesn't need to take super long but at the same time it's not going to be the absolute best thing that is in your closet either it'll be wearable it'll be nice you'll get some comments on it some compliments on it I do all the time um, but it's not going to be the best so My sister was just texting me. My sister Amy was just texting me. And my husband texted me also. Looks like he's going to try and get some sleep before his game releases at midnight. So that he'll be able to get up and play with his dudes. times I will forego hemming if it's 
just like a regular shirt and I'm gonna be wearing something over it um, nobody will see the the uh, the frayed edges or anything like that anyway so if I'm in a hurry and I just need something to wear real quick I'll go ahead and forego the hemming because it does take quite a while I'm not sure when or how that happened, but this pin is not going to work for me anymore. So, okay, I got one end pinned. I'm going to go and stitch that up. Again, you're going to use a zigzag stitch. And then I will do the other side. I don't think I'm going to pin the other side just to kind of save a little bit of time. I'm going to start my hem back towards the back seam. myself enough lead thread. So my machine became unthread, unthreaded just then. So I've got to rethread it real quick. Okay. And backstitch. machine gave me an error. And it is not moving whatsoever. thread got tangled in the machine, I believe. So let's just cut this, make sure my needle's still intact, and it is. And, Thread it again and hopefully hopefully that will fix the issue that I am having. And I am really too tired to try and figure it out if it's anything else. Here, off, 
and it looks like it's going to work. Okay. All right. Goody goody gumdrops. Now right, backstitch again and go for it. It takes a long time.
pinch it. Lift it, release it, tighten it. Snip it. And since you're ending where you started, that's all that you have are those same threads. Now I do have a couple extras because of my machine malfunctioning because I did something wrong. So, that is life. Okay, so the top is now hemmed. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom. Actually, I am not going to pin it this time. That way it's a little bit quicker. My battery is half capacity. It was full when I started. So...
back stitch, release, and done. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to turn this right side out and put it back on the dress form to see outfits. looks pretty good. It is really loose up here. So, I'm recording. Hold on. Okay, honey. I mean, you can see it a little bit better in the light now. Mm -hmm. get different shades of... Yeah, like reds and blues and purples and... Yeah. Looks kind of like an oil slick. Yeah, it's real good. Yeah. So, I just got to tighten this up. I'm going to take a break to be with my husband for a couple of minutes and okay. grab something to eat and drink and I will be back.
worry about. I love you. Oh, doggies. Okay, so I am back, and I think what I'm going to do, instead of ripping the seam out in the back, is I'm going to just do a pinch under the arm and then do a little seam here. I don't know. Maybe I should try it on first to see how much really needs to be taken in on the top. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I will be right back. Okay, so I have it on. I'm not going to show it because <laughs> I have it on with my pajamas. Um, but it actually does not need to be taken in at all. So I guess my upper half is a little bit larger than I thought it was. Um, so that's awesome because now the dress portion of it is done. And I can move on to the second part. Okay my dress back on my dress form. I'm glad that I tried it on before altering it at all because it does not need it. Okay. And it is exactly the length that I wanted it to be. So, okay, I feel much better now that I tried it on, put my other shirt on, okay, yeah, that turned out really nicely, fits really good, it hugs me in all of the right places, okay. So, the second part of it, I was unsure, I was not 100% certain what I wanted to do until I was just outside talking to my husband about it. Um, just going over a couple of ideas that I had, and as I was doing that, I came to the decision 100% of what I want to do for the second part of it. So, I'm going to throw my hair up in a ponytail. Isn't this cute? This is something that my sister got for me, that Amy got for me from Bath and Body Works. I know this is not on the subject, but it is so cute. It's such a cute little bag and I keep it with me in my purse everywhere I go. And inside it has a hand sanitizer, watermelon lemonade, it has a lotion, Endless Weekend, it has a body spray, Endless Weekend, and my absolute favorite thing in here is the Shea Butter Watermelon Lemonade Hand Cream. Love this stuff so much. But I also keep a hair tie in here. Gotta have one at all times because you never know when you're going to need to throw your hair up in a ponytail or a bun. So I'm just going to throw it up like that. Boom, done. 
put a little bit of lotion on too because I love this lotion, this hand cream. Oh, it's almost gone. Oh, it smells so good. So good. Okay, my battery is almost dead. So if my battery dies while in the middle of this, which it most likely will, I need to get a second battery so it doesn't keep dying. But if it happens, then I will most likely end up merging videos together to show you the end product of what I have made. I'm going to try, however, to not have to have that happen because I don't want to have to merge videos together. Okay. So now, chair stuck, sorry. We have this here, long piece of fabric. I'd say it's about two yards of fabric. And what I'm going to do is make a jacket out of this, just a little. Just a little jacket out of this. Um, it's going to be armless and easy. So all I have to do is, this is a real simple way of doing this. Fold your, fa your fabric inside out or right sides together and Especially since it's a stretchy fabric. Put it down there. Make sure that it's even. down, take your tape measure and measure from your center back to the center of the arm. So from here to the center of the arm for me is 11 inches. So you're going to want to measure 11 inches in. Get something that is circular and either draw the circular the circle on there or just cut it right out. Um, I'm going to try and find something that's circular that is about the same size as the arm to go there and actually, no I'm not. Okay. So, I'm going to do 11 is the center, so I'm going to mark the center, and then we're going to do this. The armhole is 5, so put the 3 where the 11 was, mark where 1 is at. Mark where five is at, wide, and then this way it is also five. So that's pretty simple to do. It doesn't seem right. One, two. Right, three is here. draw a little circle and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get my rotary 
cutter. So that I don't have to try and cut a circle with regular scissors. Oh, heavy duty, okay. And then just cut a circle out. circles and then we take this and bring it around and there we go okay so now we have our armholes right there and right there. We have a little bit of a cowl neck in the back. And then we have this here, which I am going to attach the ribbon to that I showed you at the beginning of the video to these areas here. So that it will tie in the front and it will cover everything and then when you open it you'll have the reveal of the shorter dress with the longer jacket. Now the reason I'm telling you what I'm going to do is I'm just showing you again my battery is dying so I do not want you to not know what it is that I'm going to be doing. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so... I just need to figure out where I'm going to put the ribbon to hold it in place. So I'm just going to pin this up here real quick so that it stops falling down. Okay. All right. So we are even here. We are not. There we go. Okay. Not working. All right. So then I think that this is where we're going to put them, is right here on these, on these peaks right here. We could do up a little higher so that it ties a little bit higher up. But I want to still have that fold right here and right here. So I think, yeah, I think this is good right here. Problem is, if we do it right here, you automatically see the bottom of the dress, and that's kind of the mystery that we wanted to have. So, if we do it out farther, where the tie is down farther, you don't really see it.
I think I might put two ties on it. One here. Or once it's open, we can just have it like that. And then one about halfway down. About halfway down again. And then we can tie them all together. It looks kind of like a gown. You're going to have to wait to see what I decide to do. My battery is flashing at me, so it is definitely going to die before I get it done. So I will have to do a merch video with the final piece, which is good because I want to show it to you in the sunlight anyway. So. Um, I will be doing that hopefully tomorrow as long as the sun is out and you will see what I ultimately decided to do. So I will see you all then and I hope you are all well. Bye!